Hello my friends, our topic for today's contemplation is maintaining the rhythm. My friends, are you struggling to balance your emotions and feelings when you face ups and downs in your life? Are you feeling very emotional and unable to control your anger and frustration whenever you are despised and ignored? Or are you unable to tolerate whenever you are accused wrongly by your spouse or colleagues? Our scripture comes to us from Psalms 40 verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. My friends, the question is how to maintain your emotions and thoughts. Bible gives you three possible answers. Number one, Psalms 55 verse 22. Be balanced. My friends, every day you have excitements and emotions. Perhaps you are unable to understand your relationship still. You want to be happy, but situations make you cry. You go to your office in full willpower, but you will be quickly discouraged when you meet the challenges there. Don't be perplexed, my friends. Don't be confused. Just maintain your emotions. Be balanced. Maintain your rhythm. Don't be very excited when good things come. And don't be very miserable when bad things come. Just maintain your stability. Maintain your thoughts. Don't expose your feelings. Don't give chance to a discourages to understand your thoughts and feelings. Number two, Philippians chapter four, verse 11. Be content. My brothers and sisters, your family may not understand you. Your spouse may accuse you for all the bad things. Your officers may blame you for all the failures. Yet, don't be shaken off. You know what is the truth and where is the problem. Don't curse yourself because of others' opinion. Don't be discouraged just because others are discouraged and angry. Be thankful for what you have. You will end up having more. If you concentrate on what you have done, you will never, ever have sufficiency. Number three, Psalms 40, verse 1 and 2. Be patient. My friends, your good day may seem too far. Your peace and joy may not be at your side. Yet, don't withdraw your dream. If your dream is true, you will see your dream come true one day. Your friends may not trust you. Your family may think you are weak and fragile. Your work officers may think you are incompetent. Don't listen to those critics. Rather, be patient and work hard and smart to meet your task and target. You may be considered as unworthy, but always remember your day is coming and nobody can withstand. Here is the hope for you from James 5 verse 8. You too be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. My dear friends, are you troubled and disturbed today just because of others' opinion, because of what others say about you? Be strong. Be brave in Christ. And Christ will bring you victory. Let's pray. Heavenly God, there is somebody here unable to control their emotions, control their tears because of the wrong accusation upon them. Please, dear Lord, be their shield and comfort them and console them so that they will face the giant. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for the assurance and affirmation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.